Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studios in Langhorne, Pennsylvania. And joining me in the kitchen is Chef Joe Grisafi of Joey G's Italian Kitchen in Whitehall, PA. Joey, thanks for being here. Absolutely, anytime. Thanks for having me here at Nordon. Always nice to have you on the Chef's Kitchen, and it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, we're making pizza today. Today's pizza day, yes. Joey G's Pizza Joey Day. Joey G's Pizza. We're gonna make four pizzas today. All right, that's um, a lot. It's a lot, but I'm a pizza man by blood, so it's no I'm problem at all for me. I'm a pizza girl by blood, so. All right, um, step so beside you. We have one pizza. We're gonna have seafood on. Mm -hmm. They call it the fruta de mare pizza. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's everything from the sea. Yep. We also have a spinach and artichoke pizza. We have a fresh pizza we're gonna make with fresh mozzarella and so like a bruschetta mix. Okay. And then we have a an old pizza you find in Rome on the streets with potatoes and onions and rosemary. Yum. We got a lot of work to do, um, well, let's start. like always, but we'll get it done. <laughs> so we'll, we'll start with the one that takes the most time, which is the seafood pizza, because we have to saute a couple of things. All right. All right. You always do quite a bit when you come on the chef's kitchen. You're an ambitious guy. I like to challenge myself. Yeah, I think last time we, you were here, we did like seven different chicken dishes. In yeah, it was one something time. like that, yeah. <laughs> so we just got a little olive oil in the pan. We're going to get that hot. Okay. We're going to saute the mussels, the clams, the shrimp with some red onions, some garlic, and some chopped clams. Then we're gonna add some wine and some red marinara sauce that we made ahead of time. So a red pie. Yep, it's gonna be like a red seafood pizza. Now are we putting cheese on the pizza? No, we're not gonna put cheese on it. I've seen it both ways, but we're not gonna do that today. Um, so we get the oil nice and hot. Mm -hmm. Put the onions in here. I noticed you're using red onions. Is that for any specific reason? I just brought a red onion today instead okay. of- <laughs> you can use whatever you have. Yeah, use what you have in your house. But they look nice um, on the pizza. You know, shallots, white onions, red mm -hmm. onions. They're all gonna give uh, any dish flavor regardless. I mean, sure. a little different flavor, but any, any onion will work for the most part. Okay. So get the, you sweat those down first get before the onions you on. add the garlic? A little, just a little bit. Why is that? I don't wanna burn the garlic. Garlic mm. cooks pretty fast. I want the onions kind of to cook out. And we didn't put a lot of garlic or really a lot of onions either because the sauce here we have has almost everything in it. All right, and you make all that sauce from scratch? We make it all sauce in-house, yes. Is that a secret recipe? Secret recipe from 1920. Wow. Sic Sicilian. So are you full Sicilian, or do you have other Italian blood in you? Um, well, my dad's Sicilian, my mom's from here, United States, mm -hmm. so 50-50. Um, a 50-50 mix 50 -50 myself. 50-50 mix. Half Sicilian, right, so half Irish. Got some color here going on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw in the shrimp real quick. Any specific kind of shrimp that you use? Are they golf shrimp? You can go white tiger shrimp or yeah. golf shrimp. With the pizza, I'm gonna take off the tails too real quick here. All right. Okay. They're kind of hard to bite into. Yep. You don't wanna have to deal with the tails. So just real fast, get in there and take the tails off. And you peel and devein these yourself first? Yep, we peel them, devein them in the house. Yep. So get the shrimp in there, we're gonna throw. And are these already cooked? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mussels. Everything's in there, the clams. That's a lot of seafood. We got here the chopped clams. Put this in here. Mm, I love clams. Get that all worked up there. You know I'm a Jersey girl, right? Oh yeah? We have the best clams. Yeah, right by the, right by the, right by the ocean Brigantine, there. Atlantic City. Stay away from the casinos. Mm, I learned that when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we'll just let that cook for a minute. Here we have just a little bit of white wine. All right. So, just gonna give a little white wine here. Seafood loves white wine. Just a little white wine. Let that cook off for a second. So why pizza? What made you want to start an Italian restaurant that does pizza? I grew up in an Italian restaurant my whole mm -hmm. life. Your family so, in the restaurant business? Yes, we have uh, like three, four restaurants in Lehigh wow. Valley, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. I have a steakhouse named Cork in Bethlehem. I have an Italian restaurant on uh, Catasauqua Road in Allentown named Taste of Italy. Uh, we have uh, another place called Roma, and I'm opening another place now called Joey G's. All but I have family. three three brothers and a dad, and there's a lot of us, so we try it. to work together. So after the wine, I'm just gonna put some of this sauce in here. So you're just using just canned about, tomatoes, canned tomatoes, basil, basils, onions, lots of garlic. Yep, garlic. Couple secrets thrown in. We don't say everything on the show here. Oh, you can't. We need a reason to actually come to Joey G's and try the pizza. Absolutely. So we're gonna turn this down, let's let that sit there. We're gonna right. forget about that for a minute. Mm -hmm. We're gonna skip this right now. We're gonna make another pie and get it in the oven quick. Okie doke. So let's talk about the dough. You make all of your dough in house. All the dough's made in house, yes. Um, what makes your dough special? Um, Every pizza place has, you know, their secrets for the dough. We do really thin crust pie. Mm -hmm. you know, a couple <clears throat> of our other restaurants do Sicilian pizza. Look or, at this technique. Um, 
I can tell you've done this before. I do this in my sleep. <laughs> um, so here we have this pie here. Perfectly then, round. That's so gonna, hard to do. You made that look really easy. Which pizza are we working on next? We're going to do the tomato basil one real quick. Get that in the oven so it gets working. So just dough, some cheese here. Mm. Some uh, mozzarella cheese, part skim. And you don't skimp on the cheese either. Nope, I like that. Put the cheese down. Now, why part skim? You want it to have less of a fat content to it? Um, I mean, this is just what we always seem that the works for the, our, yeah. our pizzas better. Melts really. nicely. Yes, yeah, melts evenly. And, mm -hmm. and what do you have in this, uh, you know, Bruce? We have tomato, basil, garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper. And if I had Kalamata olives, which I didn't have, mm. I would throw that in here too. So pretty simple. So this is a pretty simple tomato basil pie. Jersey tomatoes? Yeah. You know they're the best. And we're gonna go here to this oven, slide it in there. And how hot do you have the oven? The oven's on 525 right now. So super hot. Super hot, it's a convection oven, so it's gonna give the pizza a nice crust. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. Door Dom, it's fantastic. There's a lot of space, it's high tech equipment. The ovens are phenomenal. I can't wait to own one. We're bringing in our corporate chef here at Nordon, Mark Sabo. Hey, Mark. Hi, Nicole. How are you? Great to see you again. Joey, thanks for coming. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Chef. Thank You're you very welcome. much. You're welcome. So tell us about the pizza oven. This is a Doyon mm -hmm. Jet Air pizza oven. Uh, it's called a PIZ3. Right. They also have a PIZ6, which is a little bit bigger. In a sense, this is like a convection oven, but they've outfitted it to act like a triple deck pizza oven. The decks, they're perforated steel. Yeah, I see that. They've got holes Chrome plated in. also. So it has a nonstick purpose. Okay. So you have the ability to put your fresh dough right on there. And that chrome must really hold the heat well too. It holds the heat well, and it also, it's gonna create a nice good crust on that yeah. fresh dough. Which is everything with, with pizza. Sure it is. A great aspect with this is the recovery time of the, the plates. After you take a pie off, traditional pizza ovens have a tendency of, you have to wait for that area to get hot again to put another pie on. Here, we can put another pie directly in that spot as soon as we take it out. It doesn't cool down. It doesn't cool down. Mm. Well, that's everything. When you're doing a lot of turnover, yes. you need to be able to crank out those pizzas really quickly, and this oven's going to allow us to do that. Yes. Wonderful. Well, I hope you come back and taste at the end of the segment. Okay. We're going to have a lot of pizza. Love pizza. Good. Thank you. All right, we'll see you then. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. All right, Joey, looks like I missed something. Where are yeah, we Yeah, I started working a little ahead of you here. We well, have a lot of pizza to make, so that's a good yes. thing. All right, so we're gonna get, we have to get this actually. Sometimes people put this on after the pizza comes out of the mm -hmm. oven, but I'm taking a little bit of a risk right now and I'm gonna put it on before risks the pizza goes. Risks sometimes pay off. You have to take risks as a oven. chef. So we're gonna put the that nice flavor. Not too much liquid. Yeah. See, so you're kind of straining some well, of that off. We're gonna get it in the oven right now. And I know so you kind of gave it like a little shimmy shake before you yep. put it in. Oh, and the blow technique. Why, why did you do that? You get air under it to slide it off because of all that sauce and it's hot and it's... Yeah, because it can start to stick if you don't work quickly enough, yes. right? And we're going to save this actually. Yeah, I'll dip my crust in that later. Don't that get is, rid of that. That's all the flavor right there. Mm -hmm. With this? Yes, we're going with that. Get this up here. Wow, so we have two pizzas done. That pizzas took us done. like five minutes. And can I comment? This is like the biggest pizza peel I've ever seen in my life. It's, yeah, I mean, we can make nice pizzas here. Yeah. Um, 18 inch pizzas on this board. Do you um, do like the, the standard sizes, small, yeah. medium, large, or you just do those little At Joey like, G's, we're going to be doing personal pizzas. Yeah. They're going to start at like $6. Neapolitan style. Yep, just round, round uh, brick oven pizza. Awesome. Um, and then um, at the other places we have, we do large pies. Mm -hmm. so, like I said, all different pizzas. Yeah. Stuffed pizzas, calzone, chamboli, everything. Yeah. So, tra traditional Italian, you know, restaurant. Sure. All right, so let's check the pizza here because I think it's ready. Wow. It's done already? That was so fast. It's perfect. Let me go get this pan for you. I'll do that. That's a nice pie right there. Tomato, basil, garlic, mozzarella cheese. Nice crust. Oh, yeah. Look at the color. Beautiful. That was so fast. There we go. That's, I can't even get over that's that. That's a great oven. I'm super excited you to taste bring, these. You uh, want one more tray over as well? Is that ready already? It's ready already. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Actually, you know what? I'm going to throw it back in for one more minute. So Maybe. you want to rotate a little bit so yeah. it kind of heats yep. evenly? All right. Put it back at the same spot. I'm ready Otherwise when you need me. All right. So you want to make well, sure. All right. Well, you, you know, here, should I take my rings one? off? I do this one. All right. So instruct me on one. So we don't want, you don't, so. when you pick up a slice and the slice falls down, mm -hmm. so the middle is too thin. Ah, so okay. you never want to touch the middle of the dough. You always All want to right. touch the outside. All the outside. So just, you know, you can go like this if you'd it's like. It's a good tip. 
Or you can go like this and... So you're kind of stretching? Stretch the edge, yeah. So the middle is thick. See, I'm not nearly as fast as you, but... That's so good. Perfect, it's beautiful. Toss it? Toss it like that, yeah. <laughs> toss it like that, toss it like this. <laughs> However you want to do it. This. All right. Yeah, I like that move. That, uh, either way. I'm not that good at that one, though. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to rip it. This oh, has can, nice um, We have a pizza to repair it, kit around, so we can <laughs> patch it up. Don't worry about it. Pizza Band-Aids? <laughs> yep. What's Should I funny, give it a little bit that's bigger? That's good. Yeah, we'll just yeah. push this down here. All right. What's funny in the pizza shop, when you're in a pizza shop and you have like a help maybe list standing around, it's not busy. Mm -hmm. And if you have a store next to you, you tell them to go get a pizza repair kit. <laughs> and they go to the store, they come back and they can't find it. And oh, obviously the whole time is a joke, you know? <laughs> All right, this pizza's ready here. Gorgeous. Now, do you serve it just like this? You put anything else on it? We'll put some basil, some olive mm. oil on there. Yes. And call it a day. Right we'll here. put it over here. Do you want to doctor it up now? Right here. Some fresh basil. So simple. Fresh olive oil. Italian and you know what? Food. Let's bring it over here. But so delicious. We have this sauce here. So we'll take the clams so the clams are on there. All the flavor here. Mm. You ever brush the crust with olive oil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can brush it. Just drizzle more. We're not going top. that deep today, but. All right. Here we go, some olive oil. I'm gonna put my rings back on before I lose them, and my Just husband. A little olive oil me. on top. Yes, please do. <laughs> here we go. Beautiful. See who pie's done. <laughs> Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. So this is my first time at Nordon and it's been an absolutely incredible experience. The equipment is top notch from the induction burners to this, I mean this stove gave up off incredible heat but wasn't hot to me. This deck oven is beautiful, I mean a plancha, the variety of, of products that they have is incredible. All right, now we're going to do the spinach and artichoke pizza. Okay. So a little flour here to the board. Here. See, I think I made my middle too thin. It's all right. Yeah, a little flour here. So you always want to flour that board on here. first so it doesn't stick. So we'll just make it a little bit, bring it in a little bit. Bring it over here. So there how big is the restaurant? Uh, Joey the G's. Joey G's is about 40, 50 seats. Not bad. Um, little Italian classic restaurant, BYLB. Mm -hmm. um, Chianti bottles on the table with a candle. Not, maybe, not maybe quite not. that old school. Well, maybe not be going there. <laughs> okay. Checker tablecloths. So uh, next pizza, we spinach have two more spinach artichoke and potato. Which one do you want to make? I'll do potato because it's closer. Potato? Okay, yeah. so cheese. Okay. Cheese down first. Actually, throw some olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil down. Steven, our director, wants me to remind you that I'm half Irish, but <laughs> Joe is half American. We're both half Sicilian, so I think we're even. We're on an even playing field here. So fresh rosemary. Now do I go potatoes next? Yep, put or? the potatoes okay. like around the neck, like uh, fan them out a little bit. And you have some red onion in here too, I can yes. see. Nice. And is, you always want to cook the potatoes first? You always, yep, we always cook the potatoes first because we don't want a raw potato. Mm -hmm. uh, it won't cook enough in the oven. Right. And I have fresh rosemary here. While you're doing that, I'm going to throw it right on here. Mm, I love potatoes with rosemary and red onions. Actually, my Sicilian grandmother used to make these all the time in the oven. Really? Yeah, just potatoes nice. really thinly sliced like this. They're so good. They get kind of crispy. Yes. There we go. It's enough. A little Parmesan cheese here. Mm. And then I'll throw it in the oven for you. Yay. Look at that, I made a pizza. All right, one more left. And then spinach and artichoke. What was your inspiration for this, the classic spinach artichoke dip? Yeah, yeah, so I have here like a homemade uh, spinach artichoke sauce, like a, like a cream sauce. All Can't right. tell you exactly what it is. Well, we know, we, you have your but secrets. Everything's in here. Now, what so, other kind of food are you doing at Joey G's besides pizzas? Joey G's will have uh, about 20 10-inch pizzas on the menu, personal pizzas. Mm -hmm. On top of that, we'll have like Italian classics. Uh, we're going to have a, a veal parm on a veal parm chop. You know, we're going to yeah. have, you know, um, all, all, pasta? All, all, yeah, all, all, of all pasta. You know, traditional Italian restaurant. Right. We're in an area where you have to start with the basics. Sure. And then once you get the basics going, then we can get it a little fancy. It's that classic old school, southern yep. Italian. Yep. That stuff everybody loves. Yep. Piccata. And piccata, Marcella, mm -hmm. French yeah, yeah. Vodka sauce. Grew uh, up on that stuff and I Bajol, love it. Bajol, you know, Ooh, all, all the classics. Bajol. Meatballs. So here we have our sauce. Uh, 
Then we're going to take spinach. So fresh spinach, that cooks down, no problem. Yep, no problem. I throw that right and on there. And do you have artichokes actually already in the sauce? Or nope. is that just garlic, onions? It's garlic and onions in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, good eye. Been around good the block eye. a few times. Uh, artichokes are right here. Okay. Do you have these marinated? Yep, I marinated them before we came out. With just Lovely. some salt, pepper, olive oil, a little bit. Actually, there's some basil in there, which is not common, but I'm Italian, basil's in my blood. I hear you. You grow your own basil in the summertime? In the summertime, yep. Let me just pick it up in yeah. the kitchen. All right, so we have um, Parmesan cheese and mm -hmm. then the fresh mozzarella that mm. I brought. I love I'm the throw fresh mozz. Right here. And I'm going to take some more of this and just throw this on top. Oof. Now, do you make your own mozzarella? Yes, we do. Do yep. you really? Yep. We get the, the wow. curd and we, we get hot water and Pull sit it. there and. It's hard do to do. The thing. It. It's hard, but it's worth it. Totally. We love that. Yeah, and we have the cheese put on. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Look, and mine's almost done. Yep. I can't get over how quickly this thing cooks. It's a great oven. I think we have a pie ready. You want to grab a? Yeah, absolutely. I keep thinking these little bits of the potato skin are like prosciutto or bacon. <laughs> you can always add it. Out. You definitely always would could, make it for better. sure. Anything is good with bacon. It would definitely be tasty, but I think that'll be tasty as is. One more pie, so we got about like three minutes and all four pizzas will be done. And that's it. Do you want to doctor anything on these? Do you want to cut into one of them? We or? Can. Let's bring this first one over. It's probably cooled down. And we just had the mozz on here. Do you do anything, anything extra with it? Um, it's just good like it is, it's right? It's good like it is. Every, all the flavors are already in there. Mm. So we're actually, we're going to cut this eight slices. My grandfather made a lot of pizzas growing up. That was sort of his signature thing. Oh, yeah? He made and, it in-house? Oh, yeah. And yeah. he would um, cut it with scissors. Yeah, that's what they do in Italy, actually. Yeah, oh, really? Cut it with scissors. Nice. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yep. absolutely. When I was in Italy, they gave me a pizza like this, but they didn't cut at all. They just gave me a knife and fork. I told you to cut yourself. And I tore off pizzas, pieces and ate it with my hand. Yep. I'm like, don't give me a knife and fork for pizza. Yeah, that, that's Come Italy. On. Yeah. yeah. A little different over there. I know. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, though. Have Here you been? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Many times, I'm yep. sure. Which one? You want to do the seafood pie we next? We got the seafood one, yeah. Okay. Now, how do you eat that with all the shells? Eat it like a dinner. Like a dinner. Yep. So this is where you would maybe need the knife and fork. Yes. This is where the, the Italian guy should have <laughs> gave you the knife and fork on a pizza. It's such like a this. nice presentation though with the shells. It is. It really is a showstopper. Should we check the other pizza or you think it's okay? Uh, I think as soon as I'm done cutting this, I'm gonna okay. go take it. I have a timer in my head. Ah. I don't know how. I'm just born with it. It's a chef thing. I think yep. you either have it or you don't. Here we go. Lovely. One more. And then the last one I will grab. Oh. Perfect. Spinach and artichoke pizza. Your timer is dead on. Nice, nice crust. Mm. Look at that. Perfectly melted. Whew. This right here. I don't know which one I want to eat first. Probably the one I made. <laughs> this one right here. Mm. Okay. And last but not least, spinach and artichoke pie. Isn't that hot? Yes. Right out of the oven? Right out of the oven. But that's how you want to eat pizza and when it's piping yeah, hot. Still like A little more cheese. Never hurts. Here we go. This is it. Let's bring it to the table. We'll get Mark back out here and then we eat pizza. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. Cooking in Nordon is one of the, my most favorite things that I get to do when I get invited to the show, just because the equipment is so fantastic and they pretty much have everything you could possibly dream of as a chef. Come on back, Mark. Now, it wouldn't be a night at Joey G's Italian restaurant without a little Chianti to go with our pizza. Of course. Still can't get over how fast all of these pizzas cooked. Real quick. Thanks to that. So, pizza. Joe, what did you think of that oven? 
Uh, we you. might be talking later maybe about it. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Pies are great, and we're gonna try them right now, and I'm sure they are great. First, cheers. Yes. Cheers. cheers. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for having me here. Great Thank having you. you, Joe. And Mark, it's always wonderful to be here at Nordon. Now, I'm a little biased towards this one because I made it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for that one first. Mm. Please help yourselves. No forks, no plates. Nah. It's pizza. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. How rosemary long does it take to get tomato. to your place? Can I make it there for lunch and back? <laughs> How's the spinach artichoke? Mm. That one looks fabulous. Mm. Awesome. Good. See, it's just dripping. Mm hmm. Mmm. Joe, these are great. I can't wait to come over to Joey G's. Mm. Definitely come check us out. Many, many more mm -hmm. pies. Way Very good. Well, let's toast to Joey G's and Nordon Pizza Ovens. Thank you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Nordon is special because we have everything in-house under one roof. So when somebody sees a brochure, they come to Nordon and Nordon brings it to life. The equipment is so fantastic and they pretty much have everything you could possibly dream of as a chef. The typical Nordon customer comes to us for equipment expertise. The equipment is top-notch. The variety of products that they have is incredible. When you come here and I see four things that I want or need. If you need something in the Philadelphia, Delaware Valley area, Nordon is your number one choice. You won't be disappointed. Been on uh, Chef's Kitchen uh, seven, eight times now. My first time uh, today here in Nordon. All the equipment here is definitely top of the line. Pizza ovens, beautiful, uh, great oven. Everything here is first class. You can't go wrong. <laughs>